Elvis themed wedding packages are a staple at Las Vegas chapels. I mean, couples love the king of rock and roll. So when chapel owners were told to haunt all Elvis themed weddings, well, they were all shook up. Elvis is Vegas. I mean, you can't think of Las Vegas and not think of Elvis. As the king once said, don't criticize what you don't understand, son. 95% of the weddings that we do here are Elvis themed weddings. People will either want it for their legal ceremonies or they'll uh, book what we call commitment ceremonies just because they want that Elvis experience. The Las Vegas Elvis Wedding Chapel is family owned and operated. Kayla Collins serves as one of the owners. So when she received a letter stating her family's business could be in jeopardy. I thought it was a joke. <laughs> like, I'm not even kidding. I thought it was some prank practical joke because we get it often. But it was no joke. This cease and desist letter sent by Authentic Brands Group, the guardians of Elvis Presley's estate, are demanding all Las Vegas chapels stop using the king of rock and roll's name, image, or likeness for profit in business and wedding ceremonies. In a statement to 13 Action News, Authentic Brands Group says there is no intention to shut down chapels that offer Elvis packages in Las Vegas. We are seeking to partner with each of these small businesses to ensure that their use of Elvis's name, image, and likeness are officially licensed and authorized by the estate so they can continue their operations. Collins consulted with her attorney who told her for now to continue to operate business as usual. We're going to continue doing the Elvis weddings themes until we're told otherwise. Colin says she's received plenty of calls and letters of support to save Elvis. These aren't even half of the emails that I've been responding to today. These are just some. I mean, this person is from Liverpool, UK, trying to reach out this support. The owner tells me this is a developing situation and she plans to fight to keep Elvis in the building. On the Las Vegas Strip, I'm Alicia Patillo reporting.